Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here. Here we have a Heathkit SP220. Phone number here is 203-892-4119. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button and share it and subscribe. Lots of cool videos to come. I've been super busy. Lots of stuff here for repair. So, boxes worth of stuff. So, haven't had any time for personal electronic projects. Okay, so this guy had someone put the metering board in from Harbach. Every single connection has a cold solder joint. And I don't understand this. He had lengthen the cap here. I don't even know where the other side went. Um, so he has the plate, the rectified high voltage for the plate supply going over to the feed through. And it's also grounded. So I don't understand that. Somehow he ended up with high voltage on the multimeter. He blew the cap apart. So he needs a new meter. Change his board. Change the filter caps. Disconnected the secondary so I could test the transformers before I told them, you know, it was okay to proceed. So the plates on the plate tune cap had been arcing. Someone put some something on the edges to try to stop it from arcing. The load side, the plates rub. And they just drop right out once I let go. So, let me put the camera down for one second. Here's the bottom. So the terminal strip, the wire between 120 and 240 is completely broken. I'll replace it with the factory replacement. Both circuit breakers are shot. Like one's missing a little red thing and the other one's like it just doesn't do anything. It's just an open. So I put these temporary fuses in, in series. So won't have to worry about you know firing it up without protection put it around the grids do all the other stuff this is cracked right here I'll put fix this change the cap I'll do everything I normally do bent up a little bit he said it was already like that so okay that's that for now I'll get to work and then I will uh, I'll get back to you guys See you soon. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here. So here's the second video for the Heathkit SB220. This thing had a lot of issues. I went over some of them in the last video. So, needed a new C1, C2, you know, plate tune cap, load cap. So went ahead and sourced a newer style, the longer style, put that in. Plates are nice and clean. New load cap, plate's nice and clean. New plate blocker, I always change the old style to the new style. New parasitic suppressors, new tubes, I'll go over that. I'll go over those in a second. Solder joint, bad solder joint over here at the end of the coil. Touch that up. Clean the output rotary switch. I'll bend this back after, that's the safety interlock. Series glitch resistor. New high voltage wire, new filter cap board from Harbach, new metering board from Harbach. I just love his kits, they're awesome. Had one in here, a guy had trouble soldering, he had all cold solder joints. Uh, you know, some of the joints were broken, you could, you know, wiggle the, the uh, lead in the joint. New meter lamps, I always bend the tabs out, put a thin layer of silicone to stop these from popping out. I had to replace some of the wiring. He used all Teflon wire with silver plated center conduct stranded center conductor. 
with a center conduct silver plated stranded center conductor in each uh, replacement wire. Uh, clean that rotary switch. Floor was bent here. I did my best to bend this all back. Someone had dropped it hard at some point. So I'm going to place the camera down for a second. I'll flip it over safely with both hands. I don't, ha I don't have a third arm yet. Maybe someday. That would help out a lot. Okay, so I changed the cir circuit breakers. They were both shot. Everything's all soldered nice, nice. Clean the TR relay. Ground at the grids. Diode over here was shot. Replace that with the proper type. The SO239s had no tension whatsoever, so I replaced them with gold plated center uh, connection. Uh, the the pins were uh, are, are gold plated and silver body. Teflon dielectric replaced both. New cap. Terminal strip. It's wired for 120 right now. I have to wire it over to 220 for the customer. So that's about that. Let me place the camera down. Bias mod. Paired that terminal strip. One second. Put it back, and we're going to talk about the tubes. So I used to have another source for tubes, but I no longer use them. I now use a company called Penta. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Great people over there. Awesome customer service. So what I do is when I have an amplifier coming for repair, if it needs tubes, I send the customer to the seller, you know, which is Penta, and I have them order them direct and I have them drop ship them to me. The reason for that is if there ends up being a warranty issue, now the warranty goes through the customer. They don't have to go through me. And I've, I've never heard of, after I fix something, I knock on wood, I've never heard of a customer having any sort of issue because I make sure everything is right. So, okay, so I want to show you something else. This is the box that the other, uh, the other seller would ship the tubes in, okay? Look at that. You know, it has the foam insert. Now look at the box, and this was in, this box was within, you know, if you ordered a matched pair, it's within another box. Look at this box. Look at the foam insert here. That's the top part. Now look at this box compared to this box. I'm not going to show the other company's name, but... You could fit this box in this box. And then it goes into a larger box. As you can see over here. So, so good people over here. I recommend them. The tubes I've gotten from them so far. Top notch. Awesome people. So, thanks for watching. I'll have this up when I can. Uh, have a have a great day. Stay safe. Amprepairguy.com 203-892-4119. Take care.